Well, hey guys, it is the end of the day here. More like almost 7.30. Um, so excuse this like, whew, look I have got going on, but I am going to do a quick little organizing project and I thought I would just turn on the camera and show you what I'm up to. We bought a Ninja food processor slash blender slash um, portable cup blender. It's like a three-in-one product. I'll show you it in a second. Um, we got that at Costco this weekend. And it seems like sometimes when you get something new, everything has to move around to accommodate the new thing. And that's what I'm finding. And I'm tired of this thing just sitting on my counter. So I'm going to attempt to find a new spot for it. So I'm going to share with you what I'm going to do. So you may be able to hear my kiddos in the background. They are outside playing. Um, spring has finally sprung. It doesn't quite look like it, but it is here. <laughs> we did have um, a pile of snow over the weekend last, I think it was Friday, Saturday, um, to the point where we needed boots and coats and it was awful. So thankfully it's gone. Okay, so this is the new blender system. It is super awesome, but there's a lot of moving parts. This thing is huge, um, and I don't want any of this sitting out on my counter. I have this cake pan right here uh, because I will often make muffins and put that in there. I'm just drying my dishes right now, and usually it lives right in this spot. So um, here's one of the Ninja Cups, and here's one of the little pieces for that. Um... And so, yes, this is all of the parts and pieces to this thing, and I need to find a spot for it. Now, this is the area that we would be using this blender in. So, I have got three drawers right here. This one has my, like, hand towels and washcloths. And then this one, I did not clean anything out before, <laughs> but this one has um, our toaster, and we just keep it in this like little bin from the dollar store um, and it holds all the crumbs and things. And then so this is our magic bullet and this is what we were using forever but we are just, it's it doesn't hold a lot of volume and we were just needing something bigger. Plus I wanted a food processor again. If you have been with me a while, you saw <laughs> when my food processor broke making um, some food on my channel one time. Um, and so these were all the lids and the blade for the uh, magic bullet and they just live in this little target bin and these are the cups. So this system works really great but I'm guessing we will probably do away with the magic bullet because we don't really need it now because the ninja has come with two of these to go cups so I'm not really... I'm not really sure what's happening with that. But this is how this drawer looks. But I'm thinking of putting everything in this drawer. Ooh, I need to clean that off. Yucky. Okay, so yikes. This looks like a giant mess, and it's kind of because it is. This is where I store all of my kitchen linens um, that are for special occasions. So my friend Christy made these amazing little aprons for my kiddos um, and so they pull these out um, when we do baking. So I'm going to get a hook and actually just hang these inside of my pantry cupboard so that these will have a spot to live. Now in here I have got um, just lots of seasonal um, things like tablecloths and placemats and everything is falling. Um, napkins, there's another apron of Aubrey's and I have got lots of napkin rings. So my thought is is that I had wanted to actually move all of this stuff into my dining area. I want to start being a um, a paper a paperless house meaning I want to start doing away with paper napkins and paper towels and things like that so I want to have our um, cloth napkins in the dining area where we actually eat now a lot of these cloth napkins that I have let's see I'll just put this stuff on the floor um, a lot of these cloth napkins see I did not put this stuff away good um, I would like to reserve for special occasions. I don't actually want to use these things on a daily basis. 
Um, this is more for like company and special dinners and things like that. This is oh, sweet. I forgot about this little cutie pie hand towel that my um, sister-in-law got me. Isn't that so cute? I'm hanging that up. Um, but I've got lots of forgot about these too look at this this is what happens when you start organizing y'all oh okay so I need to start taking advantage of some of these things so um okay all of this to say my thought is to put the blender in here this is a Christmas one this is an apron of Aubrey's and these are all of my napkin rings. So I have these really super fun Christmas trees. Those were from Kmart like years and years and years ago. Um, I have these maple leaves or these oak, I don't know what leaves. I think those are maple leaves. Um, but I just tie them with ribbon. And I have a bunch of these seashell ones. And these and they are hooked together. I've got stars, and then I've got a couple more stars here too. So, and then this salt box house ones. These are so cute. So, I don't know. I'd like to maybe start using some of these things. Um, and yeah. So anyways, I'm gonna clear this drawer out and try and move the blender down in here see how that goes and then move all of this stuff in another area in my dining area everything has to move <laughs> okay y'all do you see what I see back there there is a towel of some sort hiding back there so I'm gonna reach in and see what that is long lost treasure okay so here's the part of where organizing where you just kind of go hmm and you may just have to live with a system a little bit and tweak it so I ended up keeping this ba black basket inside of here because these two things fit perfectly um, I place the blade inside of the ninja blender that's actually how they recommend to store it so I put the lid on and the blade and it literally just fits beautifully my guess is that we are going to use the blender portion and the mini cups the most so we can easily get this thing in and out um, but I'm guessing it may be a bit of a pain every once in a while just finagling it back in it fits beautifully like it just goes so good but I'm guessing just in I mean this thing's heavy so I'm thinking I may I could do one of two things I could either get rid of the basket totally or I could switch this with these cups back here because this actually fits. Well, it does fit. Okay, so it fits, um, but these cups will be kind of wiggly and jiggly, and it just doesn't make sense. To I guess you could but again it's still the process of lifting this in and out I don't know so I'm gonna play around um, with the basket out and see what I think of that okay I think I really like it without the basket I think it just gives um, a little bit more breathing room I think it will be easier just to lift this in and out um, I know for myself it wouldn't have been any big deal but I can see my husband getting flustered with just the compartment so I think this is how it's going to be for now. Um, this, you know, can be moved. And then we've got the cups. I thought about just laying the cups down. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Sorry, my um, my cord is kind of dinging there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, look at that. Goodbye and hello. I think it's going to work. I think we'll do that. Now, the food processor. So there it is up there. Um, I put... A bunch of the pieces inside I forgot this blade so I am gonna try and put the blade in the bottom there is a blade on top there and that's a dough blade it is not metal and it's not sharp so I may actually put it in this spot right here um, I don't know but this food processor part is gonna go in a separate part of my kitchen over 
in there is where I keep my pots and pans and that's actually where I used to keep my old food processor before it died so I'm gonna actually just go ahead and stick that bowl in there um, I have like a lazy Susan system that I'll show you and I think it'll just go best there simply because I'm not going to be reaching for my food processor on a daily basis um, and so it can kind of be tucked away out of the way um, but whereas with this we're going to be using it a lot more than that <laughs> so here's what everything looks like up above I did go ahead and add the dough hook blade right there I think it's going to be fine and I think this system is going to work for us Okay, so here is how this bottom Lazy Susan drawer, I guess you call it, um, turned out. So in the front here, I always have this stock pot, and then is my crock pot, and there is the food processor, and this is the lid to the food processor. So there's not enough space to actually put the lid on top, and that actually works out okay because um, there's two blades here. and um, the lid actually wouldn't fit on top of that with that extra blade in there. Um, and then the back is a little stoneware baking dish and then a kettle. So it all worked. It all fits. I'm really excited. So this is how this drawer goes in. It just goes right in like that. And then right on top here, this is where I keep our pots and pans. It just glides right in there like so 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 I do still have all of the linens to put away I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight because that's gonna be a little bit of a project I might get them all organized and put them away I don't know if I'm gonna film that now or later I don't know I gotta get my kiddos to bed anyways that's it for this portion of the organizing project I guess I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.